welcome to a virtual tour of some of the most breathtaking and culturally significant buildings around the world. Join me on my journey as I circumnavigate the globe. But this is no ordinary journey. I'm stopping at 20 of the most architecturally beautiful buildings in the world. Not only that, but I'm taking the most eco-friendly route to see these buildings. At the end of the video, I'll tell you how many miles have been covered and a rough cost to do this trip. Our first stop is the iconic Notre Dame de Paris, a stunning example of French Gothic architecture that has stood the test of time. Built in the years between 1163 and 1345 as a cathedral for the Archdiocese of Paris and dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Two facts you may not know are that it features a pioneering use of the flying buttress, crucial to its Gothic architecture. And the cathedral's spire, destroyed in the 2019 fire, was a 19th-century addition by architect Eugène Viollet le duc Next, we travel to the grandiose Château de Chambord, a Renaissance masterpiece that showcases the opulence of French royalty. Built between 1519 and 1547 as a hunting lodge for King Francis I, it's a symbol of French Renaissance architecture. It contains 440 rooms and more than 80 staircases, including a double helix staircase attributed to Leonardo da Vinci. The estate is the largest enclosed park in Europe, surrounded by a 32-kilometer wall. In Barcelona, Spain, let's marvel at the unique and intricate design of the Sagrada Familia, a modernist masterpiece that was started in 1882 and is still under construction today. It was conceived as an expiatory church that was dedicated to the Holy Family. It's funded by private donations and the architect Antoni Gaudi spent over 40 years of his life working on the cathedral. It combines Gothic and curvilinear Art Nouveau forms, with construction now guided by Gaudi's surviving plans and modern technology. Moving on to Bilbao, we visit the Guggenheim Museum, a striking example of contemporary architecture that houses an impressive collection of modern art. Built in 1993 and taking four years to complete, it is part of the Solomon Guggenheim Foundation. The cost of building this museum is approximately $89 million. In Granada, we'll explore the breathtaking Alhambra. Construction was started in the 13th century, with significant additions in the 14th century. Originally constructed as a small fortress, it was rebuilt for the last Muslim emirs in Spain and the court of the Nasrid dynasty. Two facts you may not know are that the name Alhambra means the red one, derived from the reddish color of its walls and also that it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, famous for its Islamic architecture and intricate ornamentation. Rome beckons us with the majestic Pantheon, a Roman temple dedicated to the gods that still stands as a testament to ancient engineering marvels. It was built in 118 to 125 AD. The Pantheon's dome remains the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome and it has been in continuous use throughout its history and now serves as a Catholic church. And no visit to Rome would be complete without a stop at the Colosseum, an ancient amphitheater that once hosted gladiatorial contests and spectacles. It was built in 70 to 80 AD and it could hold between 50,000 and 80,000 spectators, making it the largest amphitheater ever built. The Colosseum was constructed with a complex system of vaults and is considered an engineering marvel of the ancient world. In Germany, prepare to be enchanted by the fairy tale Neuschwanstein Castle, a romantic masterpiece that inspired the design of Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. Built between 1869 and 1886, it was commissioned by Ludwig II of Bavaria as a retreat and homage to Richard Wagner. The castle was never fully completed due to Ludwig's death. Moscow's St. Basil's Cathedral captivates us with its colorful onion domes and intricate patterns, a true symbol of Russian architectural splendor. It was built on the orders of Ivan the Terrible to commemorate the capture of Kazan and Astrakhan. The cathedral's official name is the Cathedral of the Intercession of the Most Holy Theotokos on the Moat. Our journey takes us to Jordan, where we explore the ancient city of Petra, carved into rose-red cliffs as the capital city of the Nabataeans over 2,000 years ago. Petra was lost to the Western world from about the 14th century until 1812. Istanbul beckons us with the grandeur of the Hagia Sophia, 
a stunning example of Byzantine architecture that has served as a church, mosque, and museum throughout its history. Built in 537 AD as a cathedral by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I, it was converted into a mosque in 1453, then into a museum in 1935, and back into a mosque in 2020. The dome of the Hagia Sophia was an engineering marvel of its time and influenced the development of architecture in both the Islamic and Christian worlds. In Dubai, be in awe of the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world at 2,722 feet that offers breathtaking views of the city and beyond. Designed as a centerpiece of downtown Dubai to showcase the region's economic growth and development with an estimated cost of $1.5 billion. The design is inspired by the Hymenocallus flower, and the building employs a Y-shaped plan to reduce wind forces. India's crown jewel, the Taj Mahal, mesmerizes us with its timeless beauty and intricate marble craftsmanship, a testament to eternal love of Emperor Shah Jahan who commissioned it as a mausoleum for his wife, Mumtaz Mahal. Estimated cost at the time was around 32 million Indian rupees, which would be billions of dollars in today's money. One fact for you is that the Taj Mahal changes color depending on the time of day, appearing pinkish in the morning, milky white in the evening, and golden under the moonlight. It's considered a masterpiece of Mughal architecture and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. China's forbidden city beckons us with its grand gates and ancient palaces. A symbol of imperial power and Chinese architectural prowess, it served as the Chinese imperial palace and political center for almost 500 years. It supposedly took the labor from a million workers to complete the buildings. It consists of 980 surviving buildings and was declared a World Heritage Site in 1987. The complex is a prime example of traditional Chinese palatial architecture and has influenced cultural and architectural developments in East Asia and elsewhere. In Tibet, we are captivated by the Potala Palace, a sacred site that once served as the winter residence of the Dalai Lama and a symbol of Tibetan Buddhism. Originally constructed in the year 637, the present palace was built in the 17th century. The palace stands at an altitude of about 12,100 feet on Marpo Ri Hill and contains over 1,000 rooms and houses stupas, statues, and Tibetan religious texts. Japan's Kinkokuji, or Golden Pavilion, enchants us with its shimmering gold leaf exterior and tranquil Zen gardens, a true oasis of serenity. Constructed in 1397 as a retirement villa for Shogun Ashikaga Yashimitsu, it was converted into a Zen Buddhist temple after his death. The pavilion functions as a Shari Den, housing relics of the Buddha. An interesting fact is that the top two floors are completely covered in gold leaf. Cambodia's Angkor Wat leaves us speechless with its massive temple complex, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that showcases the grandeur of the Khmer Empire. It was initially constructed as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu, it gradually transformed into a Buddhist temple. Two more facts are that it's the largest religious monument in the world, and secondly that it is an architectural masterpiece known for its grand scale and intricate carvings. Down under, we marvel at the iconic Sydney Opera House, a modern architectural wonder that has become a symbol of Australia's cultural identity. Constructed from 1959 to 1973, it was commissioned as a multi-venue performing arts center. Originally estimated at $7 million, the final cost was around $102 million Australian dollars. Its design was selected through an international design competition won by Danish architect Jernutzon. The Opera House's distinctive roof is made up of over 2,000 precast concrete sections covered with Swedish tiles. In Peru, we explore the ancient Incan city of Machu Picchu, perched high in the Andes Mountains and shrouded in mystery and beauty. Constructed in mid-15th century and believed to have been a royal estate or sacred religious site for Inca leaders. It was abandoned an estimated 100 years after its construction, likely due to the Spanish conquest. The site was not widely known internationally until it was brought to global attention by historian Hiram Bingham in 1911. Our final stop is Falling Water in Pennsylvania, a masterpiece of organic architecture designed by Frank Lloyd Wright that seamlessly blends with its natural surroundings. 
constructed between 1935 to 1939 as a private residence for the Kaufman family, the original cost was $155,000. The house is famous for its unique design that extends over a waterfall. Falling Water is considered one of Wright's masterpieces and a prime example of organic architecture. What constitutes beautiful architecture is very subjective, so if you disagree with the choices here then let me know in the comments below, and also if you have visited any of the places then let me know what you thought of them, I'd love to hear your views. I'd very much appreciate a like and subscribe if you liked this video. That will inspire me to make more top 20s of this amazing world. Oh and by the way, our journey has taken us 40,050 miles for the round trip from New York and the budget cost was approximately $16,100 and traveling more luxuriously but still in an eco-friendly way cost an estimated $29,800. Until next time. Happy travels!